Now in, on this plate is the band called Muse. This band was chosen to do one of the theme songs uh, for the 2012 Olympics. Uh, they're from the UK. You can see here Muse and you can see the pyramids. You can see the lightning bolts. You can see the hybrid uh, in the pyramidal shape here. The earth is at the top rather than uh, light. We have the single eye symbolism. We have the Vesica Pisces, which is the con conjunction of the two circles into this Yoni symbol in the center. That is a uh, reference to uh, the female part. You have reference to Monarch programming, MK Ultra, and Monarch probing, pro programming. You see the split of the personality and the people and the joining uh, in the center as well. This dark entity and the light as well. Uh, they are showing you demonic possession uh, with regard to schizophrenia and mind control. That yoni symbol here is the same as the phallic symbol with the yoni on the ground. Earth, female, male, heaven, up. That's the Washington Monument. They are dressed in black and white. This is a life image. He has the caduceus. We saw that in the religion section. And of course the symbol of the horned hand, il cornudo. Now the three finger method of the Il Cornudo and of course the sexual connotation this is Getty images now and you see the skulls that he's wearing here's the skull you see that they wear everything occultic here's the down pyramid death and the earth Radio City Hall they are big because the industry wants them big and they indoctrinate on this level here it is uh, the sexual connotation here's sexual connotation I believe that's um, Oh, uh, Janet, no, I forget her name. <laughs> we have uh, the single eye symbolism. Single eye symbolism, or the dark and light, just like we saw in the Beatles in the 60s. They are the first boy band. If you think that they're anything special, they were fabricated and manufactured by the industry itself as the first boy band. Here we are, uh, The uh, we saw this... Uh, uh, before the reflection and then the touching or the uh, showing you of the eye illumination or intellect of the head and we have now eye in the triangle eye in the triangle he actually closes the eye in the triangle there in his videos here is the eye of Horus eye of Lucifer same thing now looking at their uh, trip to Washington DC they understand that their founding fathers were into the occult and were Freemasons and were Luciferian Satan gives them power over the earth here's Al Gore here's them taking a picture with the apotheosis of Washington we saw that 72 stars around all of these pagan gods and goddesses around Washington double-headed eagles and taking pictures with the Washington monument anything that you can do to show your allegiance here's a double-headed eagle taking pictures with that here's that single column uh, Masonic single column and you saw that with Washington in previous plates and this is just a hybrid or different variant of that single column there's that lead singer and then you have uh, uh, how they like to show you columns and squares and the sun as the intellect but this is all luciferian symbolism and ritual as above so below look at this reflection as above so below same as the washington monument this is all masonic luciferian as above showing you the two fingers or the sign of the benediction of rome and uh... the earth as above heaven the earth so below Getty images classic symbolism that you can interpret on your own again the reflection the sign of the benediction and uh, here again pretty obvious as above so below we should understand the symbolism at this point now looking at John Lennon what John Lennon did we we've seen enough of the Beatles to understand that they were Freemasonic Kabbalists this is all Mr. religions from Babylon here's the owl that they have here continuing on and you see the obvious checkerboard symbolism getting images now checkerboards Freemasonic dualism and then we have now founding fathers in that Washington they dress in black and white they dress in checkers 
checkers again. Look at what they dress in. Skulls, skulls, skulls and bones on album covers, checkerboards on album covers, pentacles on album covers. Continuing on, black and white, top hats of Freemasonry, Satanism in the colors, Luciferianism in the top hats, showing you who they belong to, black and red, black and white, in their videos, between the columns, highlighted. Look at the rituals that they have in the videos. This is some, looks like a mind control slave. Uh, that has been split and now at the liberty of this person who's hidden themselves and now in control. Horned animals on the wall. Yeah, he's holding a pick, but that is also the 666 symbol. The uh, crossing of the arms, again, in Freemasonry, we saw that, which is Osiris, Isis, Horus, the sun god, uh, a reference to the sun as well. And that's uh, Stephen King. We're going to see that a little bit later at the end. Uh, MK Ultra. Now you can see on the album cover, Fantasizing Reality. MK Ultra in your face, on the hands, and in the video. And we're seeing now what I believe to be an actual mind control girl. She's now being subject to this. Who in their right mind would put the symbol for Mercury on this? This is all astrological, alchemical. This is all occult. You can see the reference now with the buns to a Mickey style uh, or uh, Mickey Mouse and that uh, Disney connotation. This is serious. She is a, a little girl. Now she's got makeup on. And they've put her in this element. I want people to take a good hard look at what's going on here. MK Ultra mind control from Pro Project Paperclip from the Nazi generation. We know that this is mind control. This program is still around. This is called satanic ritual abuse. You split the personalities through torture and you attach demonic entities or demons to this and they do this to their own children and to children that they get don't believe me just look at it let's read the lyrics the wavelength gently grows coercive notions re-evolve a universe is trapped inside a tear it resonates the core creates unnatural laws they are breaking laws here. Replaces love and happiness with fear. How much deception can you take? How many lies will you create? This is the depth of abuse and what they do to you. How much longer until you break? Your mind's about to fa fall and they are breaking through. They are breaking through. Now we're falling, we are losing control. Invisible to all. Invisible to all. The mind becomes a wall. All of history deleted with one stroke. How much deception can you take? How many lies will you create? How much longer until you break? Your mind's about to fall, and they are breaking through. They are breaking through. Now we're falling, we are losing control. Can you understand? What is going on in satanic ritual abuse? Do you believe this? Or are you just going to deny what's happening in plain sight with you? With the world and how they control us. So here again, Marilyn Monroe on a Muse poster. She's the classic mind control sex slave presidential version. And here you see it again. Twin Peaks was all about, that series was about satanically ritual abused woman who was found dead. And here is that mind control person. You see this in insane asylums. 
they wear a mask. This is sickness. Harp. I'm not sure if many people have heard of harp. Harp is my uh, weather modification. And ionosphere. You can read the, about this. Installations of harp. You can read about this on the internet uh, about uh, how they throw ions into the uh, heat up the ionosphere. Uh, they can direct these uh, uh, beams or uh, to uh, to control uh, weather. Here it is, harp, fantasizing reality, fictionalizing reality. These are actual harp installations. Their whole set is on harp, the harp agenda. And look at the triangles emanating the light. And we'll see that in the last plate here on um, the Olympics. You'll see the design there. You can see black and white, or black, uh, black and uh, red. Um, and we've already seen this before. This is a song called Unnatural Selection. I'll pa you can pause the screen here to read the lyrics, but um, it talks about uh, them. They are exposing the New World Order for themselves. It also talks about peaceful protests turning into uh, more than just peaceful protests. So violence against this New World Order, anarchy, and chaos is what they are promoting in this section.